Hey everybody, it's Ashley of Day to Day Social Work. I am a private online tutor and I specialize in assisting colleagues across the nation to pass their license exam in social work on the bachelor's, master's, and clinical level. You can find me online at Day to Day Social Work on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So, it has been six months <laughs> since I last posted a video, and I know that because YouTube sent me um, an email and told me that if I didn't make a video <laughs> within the next 30 days that something would happen with my um, account. But anyway, so I've been meaning to come and do some videos and I guess the email just gave me a little kick, a little push to finally come on here and um, make some videos, make time to make some videos like I had been planning to. Um, so I hope that all of y'all are doing well. Any new people, welcome. I'm Ashley. Uh, it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy six months since I last posted. I think the last time I posted was a, a t um, tutoring special for my mom's birthday in May. So that makes sense because her birthday was May 5th and here we are November 5th. So um, quick updates. So I will be putting out this video obviously and then some more after this video. So this video will focus on uh, just a quick update and then um, mental health. So as you can see, I have on my men mental health or men to heal shirt that I got from a colleague that also has an Instagram page that I will put in the description. It's men to heal. He is a uh, clinician in Virginia, and he sent me this shirt. I got this shirt from him months ago, and my plan was to make a video <laughs> and talk about mental health and um, let you all know about his, uh, his, his page. And he has a book, and he has a, a board game, and he has a YouTube channel, <laughs> and he's uh, very active in his community. Um, and just in the mental health community in general. So please follow him on Instagram and on his YouTube page, Men to Heal. And again, I'll put that in the description box so you can go and check it out. He has these shirts as well. I think he has hoodies, shirts, and different colors and everything like that. Hopefully you can see it. Y'all know I don't do well with editing videos and all that. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> I wanted to talk about uh, mental health, obviously. So for people who don't know, I am an independent clinician in the state of South Carolina. I am a LISWCP, um, which is a licensed independent social worker clinical practice. Um, I've been a social worker for 11 or 12 years now, and I've been a therapist for almost two years now. And so the direction of this channel is shifting and will shift from, um, I guess, education to more so me talking about my experience as a therapist um, and just helping people along the way who may need help with learning more about therapy, learning more about social work and all of that. So I am currently still employed in healthcare full-time and I practice part-time, not even part-time, it's really just um, as, as referrals roll in. So a couple platforms I wanted to talk to y'all about um, that I use a lot to advertise myself as a therapist and then also to um, to find therapists for clients or patients that I work with in the hospital. So the first one is Psychology Today. I'm sure that a lot of you have heard of that one before. Um, if you haven't, it's not only a place where you can find a therapist, but they also have um, articles and things like that about mental health, about uh, mental wellness and different things like that. So um, Psychology Today, it allows you to filter out or fil filter through tons of therapists all over the country. Um, you can put in your state, your zip code, your city, and then you can put in your insurance. You can put in if you want a male or female therapist. You can put in um, if your challenge is currently anger or depression or anxiety or whatever it is or relationship issues. You can put all of that in and kind of narrow down the list that they give you. 
according to the filters that you put in. So psychology today is, like I said, one of the ones that I use a lot during the day while I'm working to refer my clients to. Um, just because I don't really like to refer them to the cookie cutter community agencies where unfortunately they might just be a number. And I don't really like to um, send them to state agencies again for the same reason where they may unfortunately be just another number. Um, I guess the challenge with psychology today is that sometimes because a lot of those clinicians are in private practice, um, they sometimes don't answer the phone because they're in session. They forget to call you back. Sometimes they don't call you at all. Um, they have long wait lists, just like the agencies. So the barriers for psychology today is that these are people in private practice mostly, um, and sometimes they don't get back to you. Um, and that's just been my experience with my little bubble of trying to help people using psychology psychology today but for the most part um, it's been a very helpful tool for my clients and my patients the good thing though about psychology today that i always tell clients and patients is that um it's almost like a social media platform uh, but for therapists or clinicians because it allows them to put their picture up a few paragraphs about themselves um, it allows them to tell you what kinds of therapy therapy models they use and what demographics they work with and all of that good information so I really like to use it for that reason because instead of me just giving them a number or making a referral and them not knowing who they're going to end up with it allows them to be more involved in the process and choose someone, even though you can't really tell somebody's personality off of a picture. But they have started adding more features where you can also put in a 15 second video clip about yourself or your practice. And so um, it, it, if they have teenagers, if the client or patient is a teenager, um, the parents can involve the child with picking their therapist by looking at the pictures, looking at the video, looking at what they say that they provide uh, as clinicians. So that's one. The other one um, that I use that I think I've said in the video before is Open Path uh, Collective, I think it is. And that one, um, if I'm not mistaken, as of today, November 5th, 2022 which they I'm just saying just for purposes of this video is going to be on here for a long time as of today and going backwards they have a one-time membership fee of I, be, I believe it's $59 that people can um, pay for a lifetime membership uh, access to open path which allows them to then get therapy at a very discounted rate and so I believe the individual sessions are between $30 and $60. And then the group or couples therapy is between, I want to say, $60 and $80, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll put the link to Open Path as well as Psychology Today um, in the description box as well. And um, <clears throat> I'm a therapist on Open Path because I do believe in giving back. I do believe in giving people access to affordable therapy. Um, I have a few clients right now from Open Path, um, and so it's been really helpful for a lot of people. I've charged as low as the $30 for an Open Path client, all the way to the $60 for an individual. Um, and so it's been really helpful for people who wouldn't otherwise have um, access. And so they also have a cap on the amount of money that a person can make, which is something that they just started this year. I believe it's somewhere in the six figures. If you make over a certain amount, then uh, unfortunately you won't qualify for it. And then the last thing that I wanted to tell you about is something that I found out about through a client of mine or someone who was looking for therapy from me is uh, Loveland Vouchers. So Loveland Vouchers are... Um, vouchers for I believe it's for black women only black women and girls and I'll put their website also in the description box so that you can check that out I referred someone there um, last week I think it was and they were not accepting new applications I guess because they were overwhelmed with the amount they already had so 
Um, I don't know if they have a wait list, but I would say check that out. Um, they pay, like I said, they give you vouchers rather for therapy. Um, and then another thing that I just thought about is most states have like a office of victim assistance or crime victim assistance or something similar to that kind of name. And um, they will also pay for therapy, reimburse for therapy if you are a victim of crime and you are able to provide documentation that you are. And so they can pay for therapy sessions. So one of my specialties or areas of expertise <laughs> is intimate partner violence and um, domestic violence. And so I always try to inform my clients who are victims or survivors of crime to uh, I inform them of that uh, resource. So, of course, there's a lot more to say about mental health, but I want to keep these videos uh, short because I know people's attention spans are not what they used to be, mine included. So, um, I will put everything in the description box. Remember to go and check out Men to Heal on Instagram, Facebook. I think he has Facebook, but Instagram and YouTube. Um, and I will see y'all in the next video.